by removing copper from a copper bearing motor. What you're going to need is, of course, your safety gloves, uh, a decent pair of uh, snippers, a flathead screwdriver with a little bit of length on it, and a little larger flathead, a little heavy duty, and a hammer or uh, something to, to drive with. Uh, this has been a requested video. Uh, and it's took me a little while to kind of figure out there's several different ways you know some people cut stuff with a bandsaw or with a, a table grinder uh, I want to try to figure out an easy way with just simple hand tools now this is a, a standard copper bearing motor and you can see in between each of these is a plastic piece a rubber piece so you want to get uh, something either drill a hole to where this motor will sit down in it my table actually already has a spacer uh, there. Just set your motor down in between there. Take your longer flathead screwdriver in between each of these. Knock that plastic piece down. Go back to your next piece. Knock it down. And you'll start seeing these poking out the bottom. Just take your uh, snippers and pull those the rest of the way down. Just get rid of those. Now at the top of the motor, uh, you're going to see a little loop there, a little clip, and that's where your copper is looped on before it goes around and wraps around. Now the easiest way to do this is take your nippers. I hope you can see this. It's kind of dark in the shop. Those little clips right there, just get a hold of that with your nipper and bend it around until it breaks off. You want to keep that because that's copper there too. And that's going to free up that copper that's winding in that around the inside there. Just nip off each one of those, lay it over to the side, and go all around that top and that's going to free up your copper. And once you go all the way around, and get them all clipped loose. What that's going to do is it's going to free up all this copper and then what you're going to do after that and you get all your your pieces in between here out then you just start working your copper through those windings. Start pulling it through and it'll, once you get all this loose you'll You'll be able to take seven or eight coils at one, or seven or eight, uh, a strand rather of seven or eight pieces of copper and pull it through there and be able to work all those out. That way you don't have to risk your fingers uh, trying to cut something on a bandsaw, uh, you know, or trying to, to waste a lot of your copper, trying to use a grinder to get something loose. That's not going to work uh, very efficiently either. But just take the time, clip those little clips off with your nippers and work that around and get that copper out. Now this top piece is going to be copper. Once you get all your nips down there, take your larger flathead screwdriver and these pieces of copper are just held in with some plastic clips there. Just take, uh, of course I'm using a pair of pliers for a hammer, but drive that down through there your smaller flat head. Start working that down in there. Until you get down to the to the plastic. And that's gonna that's one of the clips I didn't get clipped off. Clip that copper loose. And that's a nice piece of a copper there that just broke loose from that plastic. Lay those over to the side, and you can see how that exposes that. That's just a, a copper with these. Uh, what it is, is these plates here have uh, like teeth on the, on the back side of them, and when they put them down in there, this is liquid encapsulation when it when it comes around, and that's what holds that in there. So once you get those clips loose, just bend your wire down and pull it back to the side, and that's how you can harvest that out. Easy way. You don't have to use a big bunch of, of tools that you may not have. 
or go invest in something that you don't have and that's going to give you a hundred percent yield of your copper out of a copper bearing motor that's the best way i've found to do it thanks again for watching Go out there and find you some of these motors, pull that copper out, start making some money. Again, thanks for watching and uh, happy scrapping.